Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick taking a look at the dollar versus Canada only. Uh, what, are, what are we seeing in the dollar versus Canada? Well, well, first off, we're seeing a trend to the upside. That trend to the upside started way back here where the price moved above its 100-hour moving average. The last time the uh, price tested that 100-hour moving average was back here and again here. And uh, where are we now? We went just right went down and tested the 100-hour moving average right here. More about that in just a second. The other thing that uh, that we saw through here was that the market stayed above a uh, into it in a channel. Now we moved above the channel here, uh, indicative of a faster trend type move. But then fell below it and we corrected down, uh, corrected down. Well, actually back toward where the 100-hour moving average is right now. But uh, it also was uh, near this uh, high right here. Uh, and we moved above and below. It's sort of a random level right here, to be honest with you. But the uh, price re rebounded and started to move higher. And today we made a new high, taking out the previous high here at 138.07. Moved up to 138.32 before rotating to the downside over the last one, two, three, four, five or so hours. And that, uh, that move to the downside took the price back below this trend line. We also fell back below this line right here, uh, the line that... Uh, uh, the uh, li line uh, line here that uh, 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 was the uh, early, earlier session low. So uh, falling below these lows right here and the trend line right here gave the uh, sellers the go ahead to push down to our next target, which was the 100 hour moving average. Also the low price that we saw, the random low price that we saw in yesterday's trading at 136.38. So what do we find, find buyers do? Well, we found buyers come in against that level uh, because risk can be defined and limited against level. All you have to do is maybe put a stop loss uh, that might uh, be right here at the 38.2% uh, retracement or maybe even, you know, right here. You don't want to risk a lot. You just want to uh, see if the price can bounce off the 100 hour moving average. Now, having said that, uh, what do we have up above? Well, we have this uh, strong resistance right here against the uh, prior low from earlier in the day and the underside of the broken trend line. So really uh, what, what we've uh, defined here is a trading uh, range here where uh, buyers uh, can lean against the 100 hour moving average in hopes that the price moves higher, but sellers can lean against this old level right here in hopes that the price moves lower. And uh, so that's our trading range now for the dollar versus Canada. Of course, if we end up moving above uh, either above this level right here, we have the bias turns more to the um, upside. If the price moves lower, uh, we're going to see the bias move back down toward move to the downside with the 50% retracement and the uh, 200 hour moving average as the next key targets. Uh, on the downside for the dollar versus Canada. So sellers are trying to make a play here, but they're being thwarted by the 100 hour moving average. We'll see if that momentum can continue, uh, if the price can stay below the uh, 137.12 level. It's up to the traders, but those are the technical levels. My name is Greg Michalowski with the Forex Quick, taking a look at the dollar versus Canada.